What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Casper's Kicks once again. Appreciate y'all for stopping in and checking out the channel. So, today for y'all I have, I guess, semi-early review depending on where you're watching the video. The shoe has already dropped overseas, but it has not dropped over here in the States yet. So, yeah, y'all yeah, know how it is with pushbacks over here in the States. Just, it's been ridiculous getting stuff released on time when it was originally released. But, it is what it is. Can't really complain about it. Just gotta deal with it and move on. So, I have with me today the Air Jordan 1 starfish and this is a women's exclusive jordan one and i'm not gonna lie i'm low-key jealous because this shoe in person is very nice and it's not supposed to have extended sizes so unfortunately i won't be able to get my size so just one of those things i gotta deal with and move on to the next shoe but starting off of course i do want to jump into the daily list so i'm just give y'all an update on everything going on and i guess unrelated to sneakers but did y'all see the black panther trailer because that trailer looks very good I am ready for Black Panther to come out. I think we're about a little over a month away, so I'm ready for that movie. But jumping into actual sneaker stuff, uh, so we're going to start with the actual sneakers app. So today we had two releases. We had the Air Jordan 3 Black and Gold, and then we had the Jordan 11 Low, i.e. the Light or what I think it was. Both shoes are still sitting on sneakers. It is 6.50 on Thursday night. They're still on there. Uh, for the 3s, they have Women's 5 to Women's 11 still on sneakers app. And then for the 11 low IEs, they have men's 7 through men's 13, and they don't have a size 12 and a half. So, if you want the shoe, they're still on sneakers. It's no telling how long they'll still be on sneakers. Obviously, there wasn't that much interest in the shoe. And then continuing on to Friday the 7th, uh, the I guess the only really Jordan release that we have is the Jordan 1 Utility. And that is the neutral olive and light steel gray for 170 Yeah, I don't, I don't see them selling out, so I'm sure they'll sit on the app as well. It's got that parachute bag on there, so if you're really interested in them, there you go. You have an opportunity to cop them. I'm not a fan of them at all. And then, last but not least, we actually had some Adidas news. So, the saga continues between Kanye and Adidas. Um, so, today, there was some information that came out and said Adidas had, re had released a statement declaring their partnership with Easy is under review. Um, so, there's a statement. So, I'll go ahead and read the statement really quick, and then I'll show you all Kanye's response to the statement. So, uh, the Adidas statement says Adidas has always uh, been about creativity, innovation, and supporting athletes and artists to achieve their vision. The Adidas Yeezy partnership is one of the most successful collaborations in our industry's history. We are proud of our team that, that has worked tirelessly throughout our co collaboration with Ye and the iconic products that were born from it. We also recognize that all successful partnerships are rooted in mutual respect and shared values. After repeated efforts to privately resolve the situation, we have taken the decision to place the partnership under review. We will continue to co-manage the current product during this pre during this period. So, yeah, it, it just continues. So, at this point, we're just waiting to see what happens between uh, Kanye and Adidas. Now, I did mention Kanye did respond, and he posted on his Instagram. Um, and basically, he posted, like, a screenshot of a tweet, and it says Adidas says his relationship with Kanye is under review, and then it's got a link. And Kanye wrote, F Adidas, I am Adidas, Adidas raped and stole my design. So, yeah, it, it's just a whole lot, but... You know, I think everybody's just kind of waiting to see what happens at this point, and then we'll go from there. But that is everything I have for the Daily Lace. So let's go ahead and jump into this early view over the Air Jordan 1 Women's Exclusive Starfish. All right, so starting off with the box, we do have the red Jordan 1 box with the black Nike written out. Now, we have seen this box with a lot of the Women's Exclusives, so no real difference, nothing out of the ordinary with this box, but you see it's all red around. All right around there. All right, now the label reads, Women's Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. The color is white, starfish, cacao, wild, and sail. This is the size 10 in women's, which is an eight and a half in men's. Retail price is either 170 or 180. I've, I've seen different things, so I honestly, whenever they're finally posted up on sneakers, then we'll have an idea. I feel like they'll be 170, but I know they've been going back and forth between 170 and 180 on Jordan 1s. All right, so moving to the inside of the box. You do have that stamp on the inside here. And then continuing on, you do have white paper in here as well. Now, I did get this pair from GOAT, so I do have the GOAT sticker and GOAT, infor or GOAT information card in here. Um, so I have both of those. But yeah, this did come from GOAT. Like I said, they released overseas already, so GOAT had pairs already on there. Um, and then this is the inside of the box. Nothing on the inside there. All right. Let's move all this out the way. 
Uh, move the lid out the way. The lid almost fell. All right. So this is the Air Jordan 1 Starfish. Give y'all that quick 360. Look, I'm not even, I told y'all earlier, this shoe is dope. I'm mad it's not coming in extended sizes because I would for sure cop this for myself. Color on here is nice and it reminds me of like that shattered backboard kind of orange. But it is nice. Now, if you're curious where the shoe is coming from, it's supposed to be drawing inspiration from a Birkin bag or a woman's purse. Um, so that is supposedly where the theme of the shoe came from. I'm sure Nike will have some story about the shoe whenever they upload them to sneakers and y'all know they have that whole description on there. So starting off with the outsole, we have a normal Jordan 1 outsole. It's got that starfish color on there. And then moving to the midsole, you have kind of an aged midsole here. That wraps all the way around. Back to the front there. It's like that sail color midsole. Alright, and moving to the upper, the upper is made entirely of leather, so you have a mixture of the Cacao Wow uh, leather, the Starfish, and then the white leather as well. So we'll start at the toe box actually, so starting there, you do see that Starfish wrapping around the toe box. And then on top of the toe box you have the white leather as well. And then continuing on you have Starfish colored Nike swooshes, that's on both sides of the shoe. The hang tag out the way, that's on both sides there. You have that Wings logo in black right there. And then Starfish leather. And you see portions of the white going towards the back of the shoe as well. And then around the ankle, you do have that Cacao Wow leather. It is that brown leather. Now, quality-wise on this shoe, it's actually a very nice quality leather, I must say. Like, between all three leathers, I will say the Starfish is a little bit softer compared to, like, the white. Um, the white is more of a stiffer leather, but... All around, it's a very nice quality shoe. They did a very good job with these. Now, I think the only, it's like a little glue stain here. So, I know it's a mass-produced shoe. And you may be able to see it on the ring light. But, you know, you just expect glue stains with shoes. Especially when they're mass-produced like this. is just kind of one of the things you do. But, quality of the leather, it is a nice quality. Now, moving to the laces. So, you do have two sets of laces with these. So, one, we have the orange laces already laced up in the shoe when we get them. There we go. And then these do come with uh, additional white laces. So not in the bag. They're actually in the cardboard box, which we've been seeing um, with some of the recent Jordan 1s. So it says move to zero on here because it is dealing with a sustainability. Hopefully the camera picks it up there. But like I said, you do have white laces with these. Or like a sail colored lace, actually. Um, but that is what we have here. And I just realized, like, mid doing the review... We got something different with this Jordan 1 that we never get. This shoe is already laced. The shoe already came laced. It is a dead stock shoe. It has not been worn. But I couldn't. Even, I don't even know the last time that we got a Jordan 1 already laced up for us. I know it's going to save a lot of people time because it, sometimes when you just want to wear a 1 and it's not laced, it just, it just makes you not want to wear that Jordan 1 because it takes a minute to lace sometimes. But interesting feature to already have these laced on here. Um, and since it can't get out the way, we'll talk about the lace, uh, the hang tag. So you do see the Nike Air on the hang tag right there, and that Starfish colorway. It is made of leather, and it is a nice quality leather. It's really soft, but that is the Nike Air. It says Nike Air on both sides. And then the other hang tag that you have on here is a that Cacao Wow uh, color, and it's almost like something you would see on a purse. Um, so it does have the Jordan Jumpman on here. So you see the Jordan Jumpman on this side. And then on this side, it has a basketball, which you see right there. Look, the camera's trying to focus on my face, so I'm trying to get it to focus on the shoe. Oh, but that is the basketball right there. And if you didn't see the Jordan jump in, it's right there. All right, so moving to the tongue, you have that sail-colored tongue with the Nike Air written out in the starfish orange. So that's right there. All right, now moving to the insole. So we have a white insole with Nike Air written out in the starfish. And then on the back of the shoe, it is black, or black of the insole, I'm sorry, is black. All right, and then this is the shoe tree that comes with this. So you have a paper shoe tree. And then moving to the uh, the rest of the inside. So you do have a white sock liner, and it's a pretty kind of stiff material type sock liner, um, but it is white. 
and then I can try and tell y'all production date on these. Let me see. So production date is ooh, January 19th, 2022 uh, to May 31st, 2022. So made earlier this year. Like I mentioned, they were pushed back over here in the States. Yeah. All right. So I'll go ahead and show y'all the other shoe as well. So this is the other shoe. Give y'all a quick 360 on this one. I mean, look at that color though. It's just really, really nice. Of course, this one does have the GOAT tag on there because they came from GOAT. Actually, I lied. This is the Nike tag. But because they came from overseas, that is why you have the, this Nike tag on here. But yeah, look at the color on here, y'all. Like, let me know how y'all feel about this color. Like, do y'all like the color? Is it, is it bad? Like I told you, I, I'm a big fan of these. I, I wish, I wish I could get them in my size, but unfortunately, it's not going to happen, like I mentioned earlier. But yeah. Let me know if y'all are going for these though. Right. Biggest size will be a 12 in women's, which is a 10 and a half in men's. It's really weird because normally we get at least one Jordan 1 that has, or one, one women's Jordan 1 that has extended sizes, and we did not get that this year, I don't think. There were rumors starting to swirl that these may have extended sizes, but from what I'm hearing, that won't be the case. But yeah, so let me know how y'all feel about the Air Jordan 1 Starfish. This is, like I mentioned, women's exclusive. Will y'all be going for these? Is it a must cop? Is it a pass? How do y'all feel about these? Must cop for me if, if they were in my size, I would for sure get them. My girl already let me know she wants them. She was like, where did these come from? I want them. So I'll be trying for her whenever they do drop. But yeah, let me know how y'all feel about them. And then also let me know how y'all feel about the Kanye and Adidas stuff. The most recent news that we got between that. The whole situation is just crazy. But as always, I do appreciate y'all for stopping. Go and subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, all notification will say it's there today when I post new content. Trying to hit 2K subscribers by the end of the year, so slowly but surely getting there. So if you have not already, like the video and subscribe. But as always, appreciate y'all for stopping in. Hope y'all stay safe and stay blessed. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.